Okay, so to get started with uh, actually using Google, uh, the Google API, we're going to need to first of all generate some credentials. And uh, you'll ha need to basically go over to the developer console and under your APIs and auth credentials, you'll need to create a new client ID. So the information we'll need is this one here, the client ID, the client secret, and the redirect URI, which is really important. This has to match the path back to your page where you're going to be checking for this authentication basically so you'll need to set this up to match or Google will give you an error when you basically forward a user through so once you've done that you've got all your details that you need and we're good to go but we need to install the Google API client for PHP so we're going to do this through composer so basically inside of our root directory here we're going to create a new file this is basically a composer.json file which we're going to store in here so let's call this composer.json and this is basically just going to require in the details you are the package that you need since this is a package manager so this is the place we're getting it from let's put that in there you'll need to install composer but uh, head over to getcomposer.org follow the instructions for whatever operating system you're working with if you don't already have it installed it's super simple so we say composer install inside of that directory that's going to go ahead and install the Google client API for us okay so now that that's done we've now got a vendor auto load uh, file basically so we're going to start to load stuff in now and create this uh, Google auth class so inside of my root directory I'm going to create a new folder called app I'm basically going to keep everything out of the way inside of here and I'll need to create a new file here this is going to do a couple of things the first thing is use session start because we are going to be using sessions here as we normally do for authentication so we use PHP's session start Now we also want to load in the auto loader from um, composer so inside of that vendor folder so we do a require once and we require vendor slash auto load .php. that's all we need to do to load in our Google client API which we've just the library that we've just downloaded it's done so let's save this as init.php we can include this from any page that we need to start working with now we also need to include our database and our Google Auth class, uh, but we haven't quite created them yet. So inside of app, let's create a new folder and call this classes. And we will create a new file in here. And this is going to be our Google Auth class. And this is going to contain the majority or basically all of the functionality that pertains to actually authenticating with Google checking if we're signed in to so checking if the session set uh, checking for a code return from Google so we can authenticate with it uh, so this is going to be our Google auth class let's just close that vendor folder um, okay so inside of here let's actually start to provide some of the details that we need to connect so we're going to have a construct function which is obviously going to be run this magic method sorry is going to be run when we instantiate our class so we need to pass through an instance of the Google client so we need to we'll do type hinting here we'll say Google client which is basically what it's called and we'll pass in a Google client now by default we want that to be null just in case it doesn't exist and there's a reason for that later on we uh, find out that we need to instantiate this class um, to log out we don't need to provide Google client information when we log out so we'll get to that later so uh, what we want to do is we want to say uh, if and in fact we want to set this to a protected property first so we say protected client that's going to store that so we say this client is the Google client um, and now we want to check if this client has been set because by default it's null so this eventually will end up null if we don't pass it through so if that's the case we need to set our client ID our client secret the redirect URI which must match what we set under the settings uh, over here and we can get rid of this now and that's it 
oh, and the scope as well, which is just going to be the email. We, we're just interested in grabbing the user's email. So we can now say this client, and we're going to use the set client ID method. We're going to pop our client ID in there. We've also got the set client secret method. We're obviously going to pop our secret in there. And we have the set redirect URI method. That's going to be the redirect URI. And we just finally have the set scope method. And this will just be email. That's all we're after. So let's uh, copy the details over from here and put them into here. So that's the client ID. We've also got the client secret here. And we've got the redirect URI, which again, because this is a massive uh, thing, if it doesn't work, it's not going to, well, if it doesn't match, it's not going to work. This must match the file that you're passing through. So we haven't created index.php yet, but we will be. So that's going to go in there and we're done. So let's instantiate this and see if it uh, works. So we've got this, well, we haven't got this loaded in yet. So let's require this in classes. Google auth.php. Um, okay, so inside of our root directory, let's create a new file, not a new folder, and we'll call this index.php. We will require in app init.php, which will do all the hard work for us, and we will say auth is a new Google auth, and that's it. Um, Eventually, we're going to pass in. Oh, no, we do. Of course, we need to pass in. So we're going to need to say, um, I don't know, Google client equals new Google underscore client. So what's happening here is we're creating a new instance of the Google client. We don't need them brackets because no options to pass in. And now we're going to pass in the Google Client. This is basically dependency injection. We don't want to instantiate this within our Google Auth class um, because obviously then it's dependent on this. So we're passing that in uh, as and when we need it. So if we head over here, we don't see any errors, which is sounding good. Um, let's just check that this part is actually executing. So we just type in like, OK or something there. OK, so it looks good. It, it, we don't see any errors. We'll find out any problems later when we start to generate URLs if they're, if anything's sort of gone wrong. But uh, as far as it goes at the moment, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong. So we have now authenticated with Google. Hopefully we've loaded sort of loaded our details in and we can start to do things like getting the authentication URL and things like that.